number for you. Hey, thanks for locking up for me tonight. Don't forget to leave the key in the safe so that I can get into my room when I return. Combination is 1513. Elaine. Okay, 1513. <laughs> Got it. There's another one of those paintings from the same author. Wait, author? <laughs> it sounds like a book. Artist. Actually, no, this doesn't get me to that place down below, does it? This is weird. I wonder how you get down there. Zero parts restored. I think I'm about to... <coughs> I think I'm about to sneeze, I was going to say. Excuse me. Burton's Blurry Matches. Only the blurriest matches for the blurriest people. You know, those matches look like tiny, teeny, tiny lollipops. I don't think they taste very good, though. Might need to start a fire at some point. What is that? I can fill it out. Uh, pinwheel brew. <laughs> That's just like the cider stuff, or hmm, is that a puzzle? <laughs> of course, I can't see myself in the mirror. I think I'm gonna just trap myself in here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, whew. Yeah, let's not do that in the future. Hmm. It's locked. Looks like I need a massively sized key to open this massive keyhole door. So wait, the safe is probably in there, right? Where'd I find the key, though? Pinwheel brew. Okay, well, that's the image. That's on there, so J.D. Taylor. I guess. God, this is going to be a nightmare to type out. Dear God. All right. <laughs> and there's a period. How do you how do you do a period? Oh my God. I wish my keyboard worked, but I can't type while I have the controller active. <sighs> oh, you can even go through numbers. Wonderful. JD, and then I need a space. <laughs> Taylor. This is painful. I think I've gone the wrong way. That's good. Good enough. 
<laughs> Almost there. That crow would have died for sure if it was just left there. Ah. Ah. And I have the last piece for that. Right here. It's all coming together. There we go, and the password of the safe is 1513. Whoops. <laughs> Went too far. Oh, oh, you can go... I just realized you can go backwards with the other trigger. The right trigger goes that way, and the left trigger goes that way. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, I hate controllers. That first night, it flapped and panicked for hours. But by the morning, it felt calm and safe. Oh, so she nursed the crow back to health, I guess. I keep getting stuck on doors. What's up here? It's a child's room. The clothes cleaning washboard thingy, whatever they're called. Ooh. A flashlight. Hmm. Probably don't need the key anymore, but just in case. Nineteen forty four, nineteen fifty two. There's probably no point in writing those down, right? Just in case. Pinwheel primary, pinwheel primary. Elaine's diary. It has been months since I took over the pub in Pinwheel, and as I thought, it hasn't been easy. I have barred many people from entering the premises due to their insulting comments and cruel words. People include those layup out criminals Jim and Mark as well as Christopher Fletcher. Jim and Mark deserved it, but I feel sorry for Chris. The guy needs to pick himself up and look after his lad properly. As of tomorrow, I will be putting up a barring list on the side that clearly and publicly states who is barred and how long they are barred for. Maybe I should also bar the lecherous Matthew Lewis as well. He keeps giving, he keeps giving me unwanted attention after he's had a few drinks, and sometimes it's crude. I wouldn't exactly say orange. I can't quite go inside, but almost. I wonder, if I wrote down all those letters and fed it into an anagram machine, would it equal something? There's an A, and an O, and an M, and an S, and... Uh, an H. Umpsh. Well, that doesn't mean anything, but if you fed it into an anagram machine, maybe. Hmm. I'm going to write a note here. Anagram? I will do that after I'm done recording. Check it out. Probably doesn't mean anything. But it might. This game is putting me in the in the mood of writing down anything that could even potentially be relevant, which is pretty cool. Because I'm thinking, what if that times um, what if the times a password? 
So that's six. My brain's broken. What time is that? Actually, can I even tell exactly what time it is? 6, 10, 6, 11, 6, 12? 6, 12 or 6, 13? One of the two, I think. I'm not used to reading traditional clocks. I'm used to digital clocks that actually tell you what time it is. Rather than ones you have to deduce like that. Like, oh, it's between the 6 and the 7, okay. And then the minute hand, like, bleh. Just tell me what time it is, you damn clock. Hmm. <laughs> it took weeks, but it healed fully and pretty soon it needed to be released back into nature. It's a cute little model. I think that's it for here. Alright, that... no, it's not fully restored. Okay, so it takes three parts to restore it, so I'm missing one. missing. Feels like I've been pretty complete. Does that have to do with this boat? Oh no, the boat's not on my hand, it's back. What do I do with the boat? Hmm. I'm thinking I do something with the boat. And she keeps talking about the crow. Is there anything I can do with the bird? I might just not have the stuff to solve this yet. I suppose I could put something else in the display case. But what? I don't think anything I have right now would be appropriate to put in the display case. Try the flashlight, but I don't see why that'd work. No, no, I can't even put anything in there. Hmm. I'll come back here later. Alright, well the point of me going there was to try to find a freaking way to get downstairs. So I've got to go down like one more level. Also got to be on the lookout for a crow. Pinwheel Post Office. Should be a lot to read in there. Pinwheel Annual Morris Dance Competition. May 1st. 
Pinwheel Post, May 2nd, 1966. Disaster! Mine collapse kills 23. Yesterday, a terrible accident occurred deep within Brimcliff Mine, killing 23 of its workers. A chilling explosion rang throughout the village and could be heard as far away as Devlin. In a routine expansion of the tunnels deep underneath the surface, what should have been a general and safe explosion went terribly wrong when it detonated, causing a severe cave-in. Trapping 23 men, the rock collapse had extended to the seabed high up above, causing the chamber to flood, killing all that were inside. Reports that the warden, Mr. R. Burton, was incapacitated at the time and could not communicate with Mr. Remo, the evacuation officer, have raised major concerns that this could have been prevented. Oh my. Wait a minute. How do I get back there? Oh, I've got to get upstairs and lift that thing up. Never mind the fact that I could clearly climb over the counter, but whatever. Also, that sound means that you can put something in there. I just don't have the right item. Do I have anything that could be put in as a letter? Nope. Probably should keep doing that. Is that enough? That should be enough. Tuesday's handover. Hi, Jan. All cashing up has been complete and the books have been filled out. I've replaced some of the stock on the shop floor with our, with our reserves and have ensured that outgoing mail is ready for delivery. The parcel situation, however, has not lessened. I know we hired Matthew as a temp to aid us, but I feel that the work is still not getting done. Even after that chat you had with him last week. I heard from Doris Farrell that he had been in the crow's nest every night this week chatting up Elaine Gregson. A bit brave, if you ask me. I heard she was a bit of a tough one. I'll see you when I'm home. Philip. Okay, one more. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Just nipped out. Philip, I've just nipped out, but shouldn't be too long. Can you please make sure that you keep an eye on the counter for me whilst I'm gone? Matthew's upstairs sorting through the parcel backlog that the bank holiday has caused. He told me it was taking him a lot longer to go through because of the weird and heavy equipment that Mr. Bell had been ordering from London. Apparently, the fella had ordered a whole load of stuff relating to buoys and church bells. A trifle strange if you ask me, but each to their own. Anyway, I will see you soon. Jan. What in the heck is that? <laughs> Andrew was the oldest brother, and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew asked in a sinister tone. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes. It lives in the mine, past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once, looking for his dog. And some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already far too interested for his own good. Andrew's face grew wide and animated. No one knows, because everyone who sees him dies. But apparently, he knocks on the wall with a massive stick, and if you hear it, it means he'll get you. 
Then what happens? Asked Rob, nervously. The knocker. I feel like I might need that. Pub. Been there and there. Anything new here? Nope. Let's go this way. Did I ever tell you about an odd colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants? Taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Oh, it's locked. That one, too. Somebody was getting some serious medical treatment. Is that a kidney dish? Andrew was the old I'm pretty sure that door is supposed to be in the frame. <laughs> Why has it been taken off? Oh, that's the same painting that's at my place. My case. Yep, walker, medical equipment. Wait a minute. That... The handprint was at the pub in the children's room. I think it was in a different orientation, though. But I wonder why the same sort of thing is there. I wonder what that means. It's gotta be some connection. Bell's inventions breathe fresh air into pinwheel. Have you seen this music box? If you have, please contact May John S. It's a music box? It just looks like a blur to me. A lover's note, number three. I found this old letter this morning, whilst I was sorting through all of your old things. I'd completely forgotten that we had done this all those years ago. I don't know why I'm writing this. You're gone now, and I have to accept that. I can barely write properly anymore. I am no use to anyone without you. No matter what happens, I will never forget your radiant face, and even though the school extension was built over where we buried the capsule, I still remember the code. Your birthday, of course. 0911. I miss you so much. The school extension was built over. Okay. Definitely need to make a note of that. School extension. Built over. Buried capsule. O nine one one. Yep, I've already used up more than half of my page. I'm definitely going to need more paper. Oh, 
Aw, oh, cute little teacups. What is that? Looks kind of like a vase, but it seems irregular. So I think it's more like a bag? I don't know, I'm just gonna store everything. creepy up there. Oh, is that the drug? It is. I wonder if I should keep it. When in doubt, keep it. Can't go wrong. missing a mattress. Strange. Lover's Note number one. My love, I want us to do something together that can last forever. Something that someone in the future can find one day and understand the feelings that we have for one another. I'm fed up of all the normal stuff that people do when they date. I feel like we're different. That our love is deeper than the rest in some way. Something important. I thought we could create a time capsule of all the things that we hold dear for one another. From letters to treasured items. Bury it somewhere special. Somewhere that it will remain safe for hundreds of years to come. What do you think? Right back. Tom. Oh, so that's how the idea of the capsule got started. Okay, it's going to the creepy attic. Oh, pff. I thought the entire attic was dark, but now there's light up here. It's not too creepy. What the heck? This seems incongruous with everything else. That seems kind of high-tech. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to that last. Lover's note number two. My dear Tom, of course I shall help you with your time capsule. It's wonderful and romantic and exciting. I also feel that the love that we have is different to all the other couples. Their arguments and squabbles showing that we must have something unique. I've never felt this way about anyone else in the world, and I wish we could be with each other all the time. Do you want to meet me this evening by the old oak tree, down from the church and near the edge of the cliff? It will be a perfect place to bury the capsule. Bring the things you want to put in it, and a box to use. Love with all my heart. Your Juniper Berry. I guess these are kind of directions. The old oak tree down from the church and near the edge of the cliff. Okay. By oak tree. Oh, damn it. No, no, must erase. Erase that. I have too many notes. <laughs> Down from the church. Near cliff. I'm not even going to be able to read that. It's too much of a scribble. Whatever. Okay, what's up with this? This is strange. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. 
Is that from the same guy that was talking to me at the start of the game? I'm done here. Ooh. Now, that one probably also doesn't go down here because the one down here is red. But just in case. Yeah, it doesn't. Theft report. In the early hours of Sunday morning, a Mr. Thompson and a Mr. Penman stole a shipment of J.D. Taylor's locally brewed beer from the J.D. Taylor warehouse. The two scoundrels, rather than instinctively selling the shipment, slunked off, uh, slunk off to a secret storage house upon the dock, where they proceeded to drink the majority of their hall's contents. <laughs> contents. Contents. Sorry. I was processing that. I thought that didn't, that didn't sound right. Yeah, the majority of their hall's contents. An alert was brought to the station at 4 o'clock Monday morning when neighboring residents began to complain about the horrendous singing that was coming from within the storage house. By the time we appeared on the scene, both perpetrators had fallen fast asleep over their precious goods. Arrests and charges followed in due course. What a bunch of jackasses. You know, I feel like I've been carrying this damn flashlight around with me too long. I'm going to put it down here. The tone, the rhythm, just listening to that melody would never get old. <laughs> I was trying to crouch jump out the window. It didn't work. A magnifying glass. I can see now why they provided me with four shelves. It's because there's a lot of items.
inspirations. Stood in the center of the market, I can hear the potential for my new communication system. Imagine long-distance conversations bringing everyone closer together, family, friends, and business. We all love to talk, to discuss ideas, and to hear loved ones' voices. Stood in the center of this market, I hear conversations. Susan Shorox talks to Jan Hemingway about Matthew Lewis and his charming manners with the ladies. Dr. Dr. Foster commandeers uh, in his doctoral manner to Howard Peterson that his age, that at his age he should really just quit smoking. George Thornton tells his daughter Jean that if she is good today, he will buy her some sweets from the market. Conversation is king here, and everywhere, and if my system can work, then it can be king in the home connecting us all together. Hmm. Hmm. So many things. I like things. I like taking things and I like putting things in places. Okay, well that's not an amperage, but that is a password to something. Found in fuse box. Seventy-five amp. Okay. Leave that in there, I suppose. Oh, hello. Oh, this is back to where I started. Yeah, okay. Those doors are locked. Don't think I tried this one. No. Ten people. A small wedding. But moving country means making a new life and new friends. Every town has its own May Day celebration, but many people traveled from around the British Isles for the annual Pinwheel, Maypole, Morris dancing competition. Such a beautiful English tradition, and a rare thing these days. Morris dancing LTD. No, no. Stop. There we go. AA. Sure. Ordering something. I guess it depends on whatever I put in for the item name. <laughs> Glass looking entertainment. Cambridge, England. Okay. Right, well, at the moment, I don't know what I'm supposed to be ordering. But I think I'll find out. Same notes. Is that a stamp? I think that's a stamp. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I'm probably going to end up putting the putting the stamp on a letter and then mailing it. I bet that's what I'm going to do. Wait. Wait. Where's the stamp? Oh, crap. Can I get it? I think I made a mistake. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. Okay. You don't need a line of sight with it to get it. Good. Good. I was worried for a second. Yeah, okay. This stamp is tiny. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it down here. Before I lose it. Is it? It's missing the the hands. Another prescription. I think I've already got one, but I guess it doesn't hurt to have another. Reminder, don't play sugar in fridge. Uh, what? Okay. Why? I don't see why that would matter. Can I even open the fridge? Can't even open the fridge. Beans. Eh, between the tomatoes and the beans, I think I might be cooking something at some point. that is. Is that a melon, or is it like a light thing? No, it can't be a light. I think it's some sort of a melon. Pumpkin? Doesn't really look like a pumpkin. I mean, kinda. I don't know. You could hide from me, you tuna. Alright, start on a new shelf here. Oh, this is new. Pinwheel Cinema closing. Due to lack of funding, the Pinwheel Cinema will be closing on the 15th of May. The final viewing of the motion picture Attack of the Type 5 will be held on, will, will be held on that day at the usual time of 1800. Just write that down. Final film showing. Just in case... After this, the cinema will close its doors for the last time. Thank you. Hey, borrowed a stamp. Don't forget to post the order for your May Day ankle bells. Okay, so that's the item. And that is also going to take about a million years to type out. I don't imagine I would need these, would I? I'm not even sure what they are. Nah, probably not. Okay, well, let's fill it out right now. 
Oh, I see there's even a spot missing for the stamp, so I might as well just grab the stamp right now. There we go. Okay. So, ankle bells. <laughs> this is painful. Completely painful. I wish I could just type on my keyboard, but I can't. <laughs> I wish it was zoomed in more, too. It's so freaking small, I can barely even see the letters. Did I skip it? God damn it, I went over it. And I'm past it. Because I'm great with the alphabet. <laughs> now I need a space. Should it be ankle bell or ankle bells? I don't know. Wait, what about the quantity? Isn't, isn't that... that's it? Oh, here we go. What is the quantity? It'll probably complete automatically once I hit the right quantity. I'm guessing... Maybe not. Two? One? But three? <laughs> That's a lot of bells. Is there any way I can shove it in inside? Okay, what am I missing? Got the envelope, got the stamp. Maybe it's just ankle bell. No, it should be ankle bells. Don't tell me it needs to be Mayday Angle Bells. Please, please tell me it doesn't need to be. Because I'm going to, like, blow this controller up with explosives. And then switch to my keyboard if it is. Let's explore the rest of the house before I lose my sanity trying to type with a freaking controller. What the hell? <laughs> what in God's name is wrong with that clock? That does not look right. I wonder if I should pay attention to the numbers or if it... I, I don't know. It's so strange, I almost think I should pay attention to it. Remember it. Maybe it's important information. The messed up numbers on the clock. Ah, the Grumpy Knocker. Britain Publishing, LTD. I actually don't know what the hell LTD means. Limited? No. I don't know.
Zero parts restored. Mum, did you, uh, do you know where my Mayday equipment is? I can't find it anywhere. I always forget the actual names of the Mayday stuff. It's so old sounding. Here's the stuff I need. One hat, two bells, one stick. I think that's all. Thanks. Oh. Apparently I wasted my time. But wait, does that even ha allow multiple entries? I'm extra confused. So apparently the names are exotic? I mean, certainly Hat, Bell, and Stick is not exotic, so I guess that's just the simplified name or something? I don't know. There's another mysterious melon. Or a ball. Maybe that's a ball. Oh. I guess they've already got the ankle bells? So there's only one thing missing. Well, it's a hat, ankle bells, and a stick. There's the hat. There's the ankle belt, or maybe he just needs another one. Maybe that's it, just one more, because, I mean, that's the stick, isn't it? Whoa, Ether One Institute. His memories have uh, gotten stuck in here. forget the actual names. Yeah, it needs two bells, and there's only one there, so yeah, I need one more. I mean, he called it uh, an ankle bell. Seems like that's the nail. Oh my god, am I inside of that? I am. No collision mesh for this. For this, uh, thing I forgot the name of. Shelf. That's the name. <laughs> Shelf. I think I need my memory restored, too. Okay, hold on. Maybe if I activate this with the keyboard and mouse... I can... Okay. If you activate it originally with the keyboard and mouse, you can type. Thank God. There's no... Yeah, there's no capitalization. So ankle, how do I move to the right? Oh, you just pointed it. So, just need one. No, not one E. So it's not ankle bells, is it just bells? Bell? I'm so confused. Maybe just Mayday Ankle Bells? 
All right, let's try the long one. Mayday angle bells. I can't even fit it. MD. Nope. So I don't actually have their true name, do I? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't have the true name of the ankle bells. They're not called ankle bells, and they're not just called bells. They have some strange exotic name. I'm going to write a note. Need ankle bell name. I guess I need to come back here. I don't know. I'm wondering if... Like, I'm leaving behind a trail of uncompleted stuff, and I'm wondering if it's because I just need to find clues from elsewhere, or if it's because I'm just not getting something. Hmm. Guess I'll come back later. Okay. Am I ever going to find out how to get below the Crow's Nest Pub? At this rate, no. Hello, Dr. Edna speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. There should only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. Alright, this is a boat race, and it just so happens I have a boat. And I believe I got the boat from a spot that was missing one fragment. So, I think this might complete it. Ah, yeah! Oh, come on, you can do it! You're gonna win, you're gonna win. Father, if you love something, set it free. Look at it go! It's gonna go. I can't seem to sprint. I think I lost the ability to sprint. There it is. Come on, I want to sprint. I guess they want to stop me from catching it. It went behind there. Sprint. Is it just bugged out? No, I can't sprint on the keyboard either. Where did it go? Well, it did say it was setting it free, so I guess it went out to sea. Yeah, I still can't sprint. Which seems a bit 
odd. I'm still kind of like moving in slow motion. I feel like that's not supposed to still be the case. Maybe this will fix it. No. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the pub. Yeah, it's the pub where that uh, boat came from. Hopefully that is the last fragment needed to get the projection. Why am I moving in slow motion? Am I moving in slow motion back here? Something's not right. Try loading the game. Wait, was I just freaking crouched? Was I crouched the whole time? Oh my god, I was crouched. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I was crouched. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Major League. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Wait, this is in the right spot. I'm not even in the right spot. I really am good at this game. I need to go one over. Alright, yep, that was the final, sp final part. Okay, well, I've got a fair amount of ribbons. Everything except one from, I guess, the first area. Sadly, only two out of 20 projectors. There's a lot more to go on that front. I'm beginning a lot more ribbons than projectors. But I've got a certainly a nice collection of items going on. Yeah, making some good progress. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. I am really, really enjoying this. This is... Uh, seriously, I just love it. I love how it looks, I love how it sounds, I love how it plays. It's wonderful. It's like practically everything I enjoy in games. All coming together. It's just so fun to explore, I can't wait to see what I'm gonna find. And, oh, I just, I love it. It's awesome. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will definitely be back soon.